just a few morning messages to get off. April 22nd, 2020. It's a great faith day. 22 is half a faith. He is risen as Father plus Son. Amazingly, He is risen indeed. He is equals indeed letter for letter, okay, um, which equals King, okay, the risen King, uh, Father plus Son. Uh, I could go for a long time on this, okay. He is, it's amazing, is at the center of Father, it's the repeated letters, and He is risen, okay. But He is risen is Father plus Son, okay, He is risen indeed. Man, as you scoop up the gems from the angel story from the book of Mark, all the Gospels, okay, um, remember God is sovereign over the modern English development. He is risen, the angel says. Then the angel says, he is not here. It's all joy. Not here is screaming out fives. Not here is the letters throne, which we know God's joy in his personal throne, plus a bonus E, which is a bonus five. Okay. So what is the message from the dawn of time? from the angel to all humans. The angel in the tomb saying Jesus is not here. It's another way of rephrasing what he said first. He is risen. <laughs> so risen equals 65 divides by 5, the number of joy. Uh, it equals rinse, the joy of rinsing. You're rinsed in the blood of the Lamb and all sorts of cool gems. Siren, remember the modern siren goes up and down as a reminder that he is risen, the resurrection. That's why the modern siren on emergency response vehicles goes up and down because Jesus came down from heaven, God in the flesh, was buried and, and then rose from the dead and he ascended up on high forevermore. Done. That's why, that is why. I'm here to tell you why the modern siren on emergency vehicles goes up and down and up and down and up and down. It's because siren equals risen. Well, he wasn't risen if he didn't go down first, and he didn't go down first if he wasn't up first. So he went up, he went down, he came up. That's what the siren does infinitely, and it's just a giant worship fest at all times to God, Jesus. Okay, so, so first the angel says he is risen, 65, joy, which equals white. The angel's wearing white, which equals 65. Then he says he is not here. Not here is 85, divides by 5, the number of joy. Add those two words together, you get 150 perfectly, which is triple joy. Not here is the very letters throne plus a bonus E. We know God's joy in sitting on his throne and reigning as supreme dictator over everything in the universe. Now you've just added five points to the fact that Jesus is not here. Well, where is he? He's headed for his ultimate throne, where he's now seated at the right hand of God. He's not here in the tomb. He's destined for the throne, and that's where he is right now. And it's all mathematically perfect for his joy. So, I, 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 that was awesome. So, he is risen equals father plus son. Okay? So, um, the spirit of all three members of the Trinity were inside of Christ's body. Physical body. Okay? And this is a whole other message, but that is actually the way it is with every Christian believer. Uh... God is fathering you from the inside, okay? All three members of the Trinity, plus your own personal spirit, dwell inside of one physical body, and God is fathering you from the inside, okay? And so that is why you don't see flawlessly perfect Christians everywhere. God is fathering all of us day by day, just like a father is patient with, you know, his biological children. When they stumble, oh, help them get up, oh, correct them, you know, oh, teach them these things. This is giant fatherville, but the, father, the spirit of the father lives on the inside of us. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah. so, man, this is unbelievable. The joy in the resurrection is the same joy as a solution. Both words divide by five, the number of joy have inset fives at the bookends, the E and O, the O and O, okay. Um, okay, yeah, I talked briefly about imperfect Christians. Uh, God the Father fathers us from the inside and is patient with us, just like any biological father, okay. Helps their child learn things, get up when they fall, Okay, but the spirit of all three members of the Trinity live inside of every Christian believer. So you're staring at a physical human body that has four spirits on the inside. God the Father, Jesus the Son, the Holy Ghost, and Derek Kuby. Okay, um, God and all the three members of the Godhead are constantly fathering me. That's it. Okay, we were destined to improvement um, just like a father and a physical son. Um, da, 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 da. oh yeah, um, man, do I make separate videos? I might just keep going on this. I get words from the Lord as I do my morning stuff. Okay, the faith, what do, what do a cook, a chef, and a chemist all have in common? 
faith. Okay, it's all for people's faith. Um, my gosh, <laughs> there's so much to preach on all of this stuff now, because every letter is special and every number. So cook equals faith. Chef is eleven eleven. Chemist equals Christ. Glaring equals seventy seven. Your brain equals faith. Well, how does your brain get developed? Well, by means of eating foods created by a, sh a cook or a chef. So cooks and chefs are agents of faith. Once again, God is so nuts about faith, he'll do, he has done everything in your existence to grow your faith, you know, including all the foods that you eat and the people behind those foods, okay? It's tear jerking. How, how, I'm just like, I just get every word, every word goes to the personal names of God. So a sous chef, well look at the word sous, it matches Jesus perfectly. Perfectly, S-U-S, and then O is J-E. A sous chef, also known as a Jesus chef. So how should you treat your local sous chef? Well, like you would treat Jesus. How should, how should the local sous chef attempt to perform their job? Well, just like Jesus would. The standards are that high, okay? Um, so, and then cooking equals the king and order equals Jesus. I'm just, as I go about my morning doing things that I need to do, okay, there's, there's irresistible words in front of me, simple and unsimple, I just get more revelation on, my goodness, so cocoa is God food, why does cocoa have the double O, because it boosts your oxygen uptake, oxygen in the air is O2, ah, pairs of O molecules, okay, Coco, Coco blesses that, it is called God food, and food has double O at the center, done, so God food is a blessing on your O2 uptake, drink it every morning like I did, <laughs> like it's, it's crazy how letters, letters are awesome, letters are everything, I'm like, Literally, letters um, control everything in the universe, and they show how God is nuts about everything. Uh, I had mangoes this morning, so mango equals joy. Um, get the mango among you, like God dwelleth among us, li literally lives inside of us. Mango equals go, man, okay? It's, it's freaking awesome. Okay, the joy of steak. These are all separate messages. The joy of steak. Steak has a five at dead center. Need I say more? It's a joy from start to finish. Um, and Jesus, the prodigal son, was prepared the fatted calf, also known as steak, when he returned home to the Father. Um, this is another message altogether, but I just feel like rattling this off right now. You can't stop a joy train. That's an entire cool message all its own. Uh, joy lasts forever. The kingdom of heaven, eternal paradise in heaven, is maximum joy. So that's why God leads you to choose maximum joy now. Okay? Um... Because joy lasts forever. So, um, there you go. You can't stop a joy, thing, joy train. There are many things that don't last forever because they're not for God. They're not God's ultimate will for man. For example, disease or uh, fear. Those are not God's will for you. So, um, choose those things that last forever. You can't stop a joy train. God's eternal, from the beginning, theme of joy for himself um, and all of his creation, the human race, is is here to go forever, okay? God's joy train, okay? Cannot be stopped. It will never be stopped. Man, I love getting words from the Lord. It's on everything. The imagination is awesome. Um, it's a steam power train. Steam equals father. Uh, the history of trains, anyways. <laughs> it's just, man, this, the, the messages I could hit out of the park on verb after verb are absolutely wonderful. Um... So God's joy train is a steam-powered train, also known as a father-powered train. Okay, my goodness. Everything that you buy from the store comes from a shelf, which equals joy, or from a bin, which equals half a joy, particularly your cocoa powder. Off the shelf divides by five. My goodness, okay. Steam equals father. Father's on top. It's also the root of the word smoke, okay? And father's on top of every fire, every... Um, you know, ounce of hot water. Joy at the center of the heart. We talked about that. God is your dance lead, okay? He's the one in controlling you. He's sovereign over your feelings. Feeling equals father. So as you just um, let your feelings honestly control you all day long, that is the Holy Ghost. That really, that is the Lord God, okay? It's called trusting everything. <laughs> trusting all of your instincts, okay? Uh, they are from God. He is your dance lead. Amazingly, the word lead equals the root of dance equals go. 
equals today's date, 22 half of faith, okay? Um, beautiful. So D-A-N-C equals go equals lead. A, a stunning 22 half of faith, okay? Um, it's really not that hard. Um, you're filled with the Spirit by your confession that Jesus Christ is God. There are many testimonies of people receiving a separate baptism in the Holy Ghost. Um, drink your morning God food, your cocoa. God food is faith plus half of faith. And a host starts with go and a host of other famous gems. I've had more words from the Lord on faith. Today is the 22nd half of faith. God loves go. That whole beautiful set of letters divides by 11s. Okay. Um, in fact, it's 22, 77, 22. It's 11 times 11. Um, but, um, in short, okay, God loves you, okay, um, invite Jesus Christ to live inside you, he will, all three members of the Trinity will, um, God loves you like crazy, he's like your father, in fact he is, um, he wants you to be free, he wants you to be as happy as possible, um, trust the spirit inside of you, that's God, you're free to do whatever you please, whatever you instinctively feel like doing, that's you, that's the real you, that's the real, uh, God with you, um, and, um, choose joy. Um, everything that is not from God, like this corona disease thing and fear, it's like, it's all going to pass away because it's not from God. Um, fear is not from God, okay? Fear is not from God. Sickness is not, uh, from God, okay? Well, God, you know, can allow those things to chasten people. We know all that, but, um, perfect health and joy lasts forever. That is God's ultimate will for you, so choose those things today rejoice always as the bible says choose maximum joy today be instinctive be free um i will probably scoop up a ton more words um, and letter studies because it's irresistible um to to solve all the letters and to rearrange them all and to add them all up and to see them all pointing to each other and the massive joy theme racing through this whole tapestry uh, the faith theme, the love theme, these are all words that God has led me to find mathematically in all the English language, uh, the words, all the personal titles of God. Um, it is absolutely fabulous. But the joy theme has been the heaviest and the hardest and the strongest and the most repeated in my life lately. Drink your morning cocoa powder in abundance. Get happy. Live free. Um, be gluten-free if you live in North America. Um, ignore most of the fear mongering and, you know, the disease, you know, chatting and this whole COVID thing, this too shall pass. I'm like, God is your protector, your perfect healer. Um, you focus on joy, worshiping and praising the Lord, um, all day long today, doing what you feel like doing, living a life of love. Remember love, joy, and peace last forever. They are God's will for you. Fear is not God's will for you. Disease is not God's will for anyone. Okay. Abundance, happiness, freedom is God's will. So live in those things today. God will bless you and provide abundantly. Um, you are his child. He really does like you. He really is nuts about you. What you actually have to believe is that God is so crazy nuts about you and so crazy in love with you that you are free to do whatever um, you feel like doing all day long. Okay, And that is pure honesty. That is the real you. Okay, and as you live at that highest level of instinctive honesty all day, every day, uh, I believe with all my heart that God provides, okay, and leads you like a dance lead into all sorts of cool things, and um, it's very satisfying, okay. So, I make videos like this because it's honestly satisfying for me to do so. It's honestly a pleasure to speak the English language and to speak one's thoughts and to speak the glory of God, and to speak one's personal life story um, as it plays out day by day, okay? And to recount the things that God is saying to you and to meditate on the letters that God has given to you. Every word of God is precious. God gives you words every single day in whatever language he created you to enjoy. And um, he gives you revelations about those words, what the deeper theme behind them is, how they relate to things. Uh, the other day I got a reminder from the Lord as I was walking past the pine cone trees that there's huge amounts of pine cones near the very tops of the trees. That's where all the biggest clusters of cones are. Well, what's the message from the Lord? And I've had him speak. The more cocoa you drink, the higher you go. It's that simple. Do you want to go up, up, up? Cocoa equals up. Cone equals cocoa. Okay. It's just 
God has ordained me to pass many pine cone trees, pine cone trees where all the abundance of pine cones are right at the very top. Right at the very top. The most pine cones are at the very top. Huge, massive clusters of them. So, what's the message? What's the message from God? The more cocoa you drink, the happier you feel. The higher you go. Period. It's that simple. Okay? Do you want to feel... Do you, do you want to feel terrific like never before all week long? Consume more pure natural cocoa powder with water in that week. Period. Ideally, first thing in the morning. Done. And you'll, you'll get it. You'll actually live it. And you'll never stop doing it. And you'll be the happiest person you've ever been. So, cocoa up, kids. Drink your God food. Um, worship the Lord. Jesus Christ the same. Uh, it's like... Be yourself and get ready for the joy train of God um, to pick up billions of new passengers that have not been on the highest state of the joy train of God. Get ready for God to swoop by by his spiritual power and sovereignty and collect millions and billions of children onto the joy train that he is racing through the world okay, to glorify himself and make people happy <laughs> like never before you can't stop the joy train you can't stop god's joy train okay god's joy is at the center of the heart of god you can't stop god's joy spirit and god's joy train from scooping up souls by the millions on a daily basis and saturating them and transforming them at the highest levels to be happier than they've ever been in their entire lives. And they're just going to be singing their heads off on God's joy train. And that is the theme that God has been presenting me with and overwhelming me with on a daily basis for a long time now, saying, Derek, it's all about joy. That specific word in English, J-O-Y. And the numbers, okay, the number five being the number of joy. And um, so I encourage you to choose your maximum known joys today. Definitely drink your pure natural cocoa powder because that is one of the best blessings for your joy in your diet. Um, 